Hey Monica, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How many conversations do you have that start like this? Like how many people do you encounter who have no idea who you are or what you're going through? Like if only they knew, right? So, how are you really? What's really going on beneath the surface? Let's try that again. Hey Monica, how are you? I'm actually on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I just had a panic attack a few hours ago and I just found out my husband cheated on me. I don't know what to do because the person I want to go to for comfort is also the person who hurt me. I don't know what I did wrong for this to happen. There must be something wrong with me, otherwise why wouldn't he choose me? I must not be lovable. I'm filled with bitterness and resentment. I keep getting triggered by every little small thing which causes me to react in ways that I regret later. I have daddy issues and a mother wound. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. I want to say no and set boundaries, but then I feel guilty and it, I say yes and overextend myself. I feel trapped. I'm a perfectionist and a people pleaser, and I want to shed that identity so bad I just don't know how. I feel like a bad friend and a terrible mother. I'm trying so hard to scale my business so I can create a better life, but I keep hitting every roadblock imaginable. Meanwhile, it seems like everybody else has it all figured out. I hate my reflection when I look in the mirror, and I'm constantly beating myself up for literally everything. But I'm still showing up every day with a smile and pretending that everything's fine because I think I'd drown in shame if people really knew the truth. How are you? Welcome to the Choosing to Heal podcast, where we ditch the small talk for real, vulnerable conversations. We're diving into the topics that aren't brought up at the dinner table. It's the stuff you wouldn't dare share when someone asks, hey, how are you? I'm your host, Monica Lee, and everything I just described actually happened to me. It's not made up. But recovering from betrayal trauma ended up being the best worst thing to happen to me because it taught me skills that transformed the relationship I have with myself and others for the better. Hitting rock bottom in my marriage left me broken and desperate enough to dig deep and begin my lifelong journey of healing. It gave me the gift of perspective that I now hope to share with you because it changed my life. I'll also be inviting guests who have inspirational stories of growth and healing onto the show too. I want this podcast to feel like you and I are sitting down together on the couch, face to face after all the kids are in bed, where we get everything off of our chest to someone who actually gets it, like really gets it. I want you to walk away after listening to each episode feeling seen, understood, and validated. Most importantly, I want you to know you're not alone, no matter what you're going through. I'm so glad you're here and that you're choosing to heal and grow every day. So are you ready to ditch the shallow and superficial for deeper connection, meaning, and intimacy? Then you're in the right place. Hit the subscribe button and get started by pressing play on an episode. I'll see you there.